Hi guys, if you see my last video, um, the Great Barrier Reef from above, you know that I'm here in Cairns. Um, go and check that out. That's a totally different perspective. I've um, seen obviously the Great Barrier Reef or parts of it from above by a plane. Well, today I'm going to actually dive the Great Barrier Reef. Um, today's plan is to do three dives on three different types of reef. I don't know which ones at the moment. And I'll be diving with a diver's Dan. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to this. This must be on every diver's bucket list to do the uh, Great Barrier Reef. Um, yeah, really looking forward to it. Today is really hot considering it's March. I think it's about already, it's early in the morning. It's roughly about 28 centigrade already and it's really hot here, it's lovely. Okay, soon we'll be boarding the uh, boat. Right before you board the boat, you get issued uh, a number. That's your diver's number. If you're participating as a snorkeler or a diver, uh, for safety reasons in the rear it's well catered for for all divers and snorkelers and loads of equipment there and uh, the bow of the ship this is where we have to sign in um, fill in a medical form and any other paperwork that needs to be done and also a very lively safety brief and introduction to the crew and this is us off leaving cans on to our first dive Here I've just seen my first shark. This is a black tip reef shark. Um, this is one of many. This is the only one I managed to catch on footage because most of them were quite far away. Now here straight away, um, I was absolutely overwhelmed with this coral. Uh, first thing for me was the sea temperature. It was 28 centigrade. I know I like telling everyone the water temperature. Um, and for me, it was just the colors, uh, the amount of coral, uh, just so many different shapes, sizes and colors and amount of marine life. Um, again, you didn't have to go deep for the, to see this. You could really see this from above if, if, you're, if you're a snorkeler. Um, really, absolutely stunning. Here coming up we've got uh, a giant clam that used to be a giant clam uh, these things can produce up to 5 million or 50 million eggs in 20 minutes I've been told And this guy, I believe, is a black spouted uh, puffer fish. Uh, these guys grow up to roughly 25 centimeters. Just got it on camera. And next, this coral, they call it daytime coral. Uh, these quite, uh, quite abundant, there are quite a lot of them everywhere around in this coral. And this guy's a, a red and black anemone fish. It's part of the uh, clownfish. Or Nemo. Now the blue and yellow fish there, they were called um, a bicolor angelfish. And yes, I found him. I found Nemo, um, aka the clown and enemy fish, made famous by Finding Nemo. 
Uh, these weren't the only sort of pair I found. There was quite a lot um, of us um, around the reef. Now this is a soft coral. It's called uh, an elephant ear coral because apparently it looks like a, an elephant or part of the elephant's ear. got some hard corals as well uh, for example there is a few finger corals and a staghorn coral as well and also plate corals uh, a boulder coral uh, there's so much corals to mention I don't know every single one of them but this is probably why they call it the Great Barrier Reef and this guy is I believe a swervy parrotfish lovely colors and there's one in the background as well. And here we've got a, uh, a living giant clam. Uh, they can't totally shut, they do leave a small gap. Um, as I get closer, you can't tell in the camera, it did start to close up a bit. And here's another clownfish, uh, slightly a different color, um, hiding amongst the uh, coral. Uh, don't want to get too close, obviously the coral is delicate. Um, definitely in the Barry Reef you have to be quite confident and efficient in your buoyancy and your finning technique as you can imagine there's coral quite delicate absolutely everywhere you need to pay attention because there's so much distraction and these pot of fish I believe are called a robust fuselage um, don't quote me on that I think that's what they're called So I've done two dives on Norman Reef. Um, next video underwater footage you'll notice be a different color as this was filmed on my uh, Sea Life Micro 3.0, which was quite impressive to be honest. Um, so we ascended, um, had our lunch, which was quite nice, um, case for dietary needs. And then it was back in for one more dive on a reef that apparently they call it um, Breaking Patches. And this is filmed in my GoPro VR8. And this guy who just came out of hiding is a titan triggerfish. This is one sea creature I definitely wanted to see and I'm glad I actually spotted it. Uh, this is a, apparently a green turtle. Now, I've been told it's called a green turtle not because of the color of its shell, it's because if you cut it open its flesh will be green and this is due to eating all the uh, seagrass. And these guys are called a, a snub nose dart. Swimming past. And this is called a Moorish idol, another character from uh, Finding Nemo, I believe. And this pair of fish, I believe, are called long tail batfish. Um, just staying there, not really bothered about me hanging around. And there's another little small coral with lots of other fish just feeding. And lastly, we have a pineapple sea cucumber. It plays an important role within the Great Barrier Reef by consuming sand and rubble, thereby playing an important part role of uh, nutrient recycling for the Great Barrier Reef. Right, that's the end of all my dives. Um, a fantastic time and it's time to leave the boat. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Catch you next time. Ooh, look at all the weight for me. Cheers, guys. Awesome day. Well done. Well done. Okay, guys, thanks for watching to the end. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I've really had an amazing experience here at the Great Barrier Reef, especially with Diver's Den. I'll put the link down below in the, in the description. Okay guys, uh, as always, um, give us a thumbs up, any comments, um, 
and you haven't please subscribe as well okay much appreciated okay guys until next time as always safe diving